Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to work the link double crochet stitch in the round. To start I'm using worsted yarn together with a 6.5 millimeter hook and I'm gonna use a stitch marker as well. To begin the first round we're gonna start with a magic circle And we're going to chain one to secure our uh, circle. Then for round one, we're going to work six single crochet stitches into the magic ring or the magic circle. At the end of round one, we're not going to join the two stitches. We're going to chain two and skip the first chain from the hook and insert the hook into the second chain. We yarn over and pull a loop and then insert the hook into the first stitch of the previous round, yarn over and pull a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so this is the first link double crochet stitch for round two i'm gonna put my stitch marker into that stitch and then i'm gonna do an increase throughout this uh, round so i'll do two stitches of link double crochet stitch into each stitch of the previous round so i'll end up with 12 link double crochet stitches at the end of round two if you haven't watched the tutorial for the link double crochet stitch, I'm gonna put a link in the description box for that video so that you can see how we crochet that stitch in details. In this video, I'm just uh, demonstrating how we can work the link double crochet stitch in the round. So again, two stitches of link double crochet into each stitch so we're increasing to 12 stitches in round two so we are at the end of round two at this point we don't do any extra chains we just go right away working a link double crochet stitch between the last stitch of the round and the first stitch so we're gonna be working in a spiral way now i did one link double crochet in the first stitch of round three so round three is a repetition of round two we're doing an increase in each and every stitch to end up with 24 link double crochet stitches at the end of round three so i'll go back again into the same stitch and do another link double crochet stitch. We're at the end of round three. I'm gonna work right away into uh, the stitch that has the stitch marker. So into the first stitch I'm going to do a single um, like one stitch of link double crochet stitch and I'll put back my stitch marker and then into the next stitch I'll do an increase. So this is going to be our pattern one stitch increase one stitch increase one stitch increase and so on until the end of the round so i finished uh, round uh, four 
Now you can see how the spiral is being formed. And even the back of that stitch looks beautiful uh, on its own. So to start round number uh, five, I, rem I removed the stitch marker and will continue working right away into the first stitch. I'll do an increase. So two stitches into that first stitch. Don't forget to mark your first stitch of the round so you don't miss your starting point. So go back again and do another stitch in there. So that's my increase. And then one stitch into each of the two next stitches. So here's one and then one more into the next stitch. And this will be the pattern for round five. An increase, and then one stitch, one stitch. So the next stitch will be an increase, and then one stitch, one stitch. Increase, one stitch, one stitch throughout this round. At this point, you can do as many rounds as you want. We're doing an increase of 12 stitches per round. Now, if you have any questions regarding how to do your increases to keep your circles flat and with rounded edges, I will put a link down in the description box describing or answering all these questions. So that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'll see you next time.